Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Winter Circle. I am your host, June Archer. Right now, we're going from the gritty streets of New York City, off-road parks in Houston, and of course, we're going to dip down to Saudi Arabia. We're talking unity, diversity, and culture with no other than the illustrious, the, the super talented, Swiss Beats in the Sun, Nasir. And we're talking about drive with Swiss Beats. Swizzy, zoom, zoom, yes. zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> zoom, yeah. zoom, zoom. Yes. First of all, respectively, let me ask you, uh, Nasir. <laughs> yes, sir. How was it like working with your dad, traveling around the country to talk about this culture that has been kind of underground? If you, if you know what you know, if you don't, you're now bringing it to the foreground. How was it traveling with your dad in this 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 culture to just get a front view of how this thing goes? Yeah, we absolutely had the frontest view of uh, <laughs> all of our experiences, um, whether it fast, whether it was family, whether it was um, uh, observing awesome uh, machines, beautiful art pieces that people made. Um, yeah, we were at the forefront of all of that, and you know we. We our bond is like no other, and it it not only strengthened but on a on a elemental level it it just made a a lot of new connections that um it, we now have so it was a beautiful thing. Swiss for you, this has got to be a proud moment to be able to have your son in the driver's seat. Yeah, and to be in the passenger seat and let him drive to kind of navigate some of the waters that you've traveled over the years how important is it for young people to have a passport to be able to experience mm. opportunities like this i think you hit on something something amazing and something big you know i think traveling is the key to life you know um that amount that you might spend on that outfit you could take a trip and go to senegal or you could take a trip and go to japan or you can use that money to broaden your horizons Yes. Because, you know, growing up in the South Bronx, that's all I knew at that particular time. I haven't even, I remember when I haven't even been to Atlanta yet. You know, like, Atlanta felt like a whole new country when I pulled up. I, I remember when they was telling, my parents were telling me we moving to Atlanta. I thought I was moving to a farm. I didn't know that Atlanta was like, you know, popping in, in, in a mecca uh, for our culture at that particular time. But that came with the lack of traveling. And then, you know, um, I also mm. noticed that people was able to tell me a lot of their spending stories on places and things because I've never been. So you're going to believe where you've never been. Then I started going to these different places. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, okay, Mexico got the cartel, but I had a great-ass time <laughs> in this resort over here. Just like the Bronx have, you know, there's, there's good places and there's places that you know you shouldn't go because of, you know, of, of, of poverty and, and, and the lack of jobs. But there's beautiful places in every place that I've visited, and um, and you can experience those things to yourself. So I think having a passport is 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 a, is your graduation, you know, going to different mm -hmm. places. And I and I see more people traveling. You know, there's other places other than Dubai. You know, everybody want to go to Dubai and feel like they traveled the world. That was a far flight, but you passed over a lot of things going to Dubai, right? right. <laughs> Um, so I encourage people to go to Dubai and then go to Saudi Arabia when you're on that side. Go to Bahrain when you're on that side. Go to Qatar when you're on that side. Go to Oman when you're on that side. Like, do the whole thing. Um, or put it on your list to do the whole thing. Mm. Now, Sir, for you, uh, you've obviously spent a lot of time with your dad as a young man growing up. But what is the one thing that you learned traveling with your dad along this journey? What is the one thing that you can think about? You're like, you know what? I learned this thing pretty, you know, he's a pretty cool dude, but I learned I learned <laughs> this about my dad uh, filming this show. I just learned that uh, he really, really does have an outstanding passion for um, detail and design, uh, and, and that's all we researched on the show. It's like we had a crash course on detail and design, detail and design. And he'll say it, he's a Virgo, they love details, and designs. <laughs> That's a fact. So uh, you know, I, I could I could see why that correlated with him on a cellular level, and um, it was just cool to see why. Absolutely, Swiss. Uh, you hooked up with, of course, two of my favorite people in the industry, Jay Brown, Ty Ty. Uh, what is a misconception before I let you go about this car culture 
that you try to push forward so people understand why you have such a tremendous love for it? Um, it's almost like the art culture. You know, people feel that it's only for rich people. You know, um, during the show, you'll see people with, with, with major means and you'll see people with, you don't even know how they did it. Um, but they did it through hard work and some people in the show are building engines with their hands. And some people are 3D printing engines. And my thing is, if you have a passion for something, don't let a financial thing get in your way. You know, figure out a way to do it. You know, like I remember I couldn't afford needles on my, on my turntables. I figured out how to build a needle through a Brillo pad. I mean, I electrocuted myself for the first time, mm. you know, but then I came back <laughs> stronger and I made it happen and I was able to make my mixtapes, although I couldn't afford the Stanton needles and different things like that at that time. I made my needles, I made my mixtape and, and and sold my mixtapes to be able to get the needles uh, to do the real thing. So, you know, you have to, if you don't hustle, you don't eat. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Swiss. Thank you, brother Nasir. Thank, Thank you. you. We're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. Yes. We never thought hip hop could take it this far. Thank you for pushing the culture forward. Thank you. In many sure. ways. And we go, we can talk about camel racing next time. But <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's Swiss Beats. That's Nasir. Yes. Listen, Drive with Swiss Beats, Hulu, streaming, October, I mean, see, November 16th. Make sure you tune in. Yes. Swiss, Nasir, thank you. Love y'all, black bro. man. Thank this you. Yes, man, sir. Thank thank you. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Let's get Peace. it. Peace. Peace, bro. Yes.